I'm Francis, Francis Kere, and uh, I, I was born and to raised up in, uh, in uh, Burkina Faso in uh, Africa, and I am architect. People in Burkina Faso, um, you know, struggle in their daily life to, to, to raise their kids, looking for housing, and they do their best. Burkina Faso means the place, the land of the proud people. When I was a kid, um, I, I was forced to leave the village to go in the city nearby to attend uh, education. I have to say that having been sent to school, because my father was a sheep, it was, not, it was not a privilege. It was a big, big loss by my father. And he has been attacked by that idea because they were saying the chief is stupid. Why he's sending his first son to school instead of letting him work on the field to, you know, to grow food and, 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 and feed the family is a loss. But today, uh, looking backward, uh, it was a blessing for me. So my father was a visionary. Yeah, and it was a blessing for the village too, because he obviously had the forethought to understand that you, yeah. you, you wouldn't just be helping yourself, but helping everyone. Yeah. And it's incredible to think that uh, uh, only 40 years ago, there wasn't a single person that could read and write in the whole village. Yeah. And now there's a school here and everyone's learning how to read and write. This place is called Palo. Um, when we came here three years ago, there was no school. So no high school. So, and then there was an idea to build a high school. And to, you know, this has a purpose to promote talent. And that's how we started. And because it was a poor neighborhood, there was no electricity, no connection to water, nothing. And the site itself was so dry, almost like a desert. And then, so I had the job to transform it into a vital, you know, inspiring and welcoming space. So this is always with the idea of the community to be shaped that the community need a space, you know, to, to protect them, to be happy in, you know, just to relax right. or to, and for the kids to think, to refresh the mind. If you get the community be involved, the youth, the kids be involved, mm -hmm. learn about new techniques and see later the result, you know, mm -hmm. they learn to appreciate it. They really love it and, and they feel proud. Paul, this is the tree I've been talking about. That is the inspiration we I got for our Coachella project. Coachella, a very exciting project. But for the design itself, you know, I was thinking, what can I do? Coachella means celebration. Coachella means inclusion, a great gathering. And then I thought back about my village, a baobab tree that you can see from far, you know, so that the people, when they approach this year Coachella festival, they say of beacon of light, you feel uh, I am getting ready to a great celebration. <laughs> 